Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of First Look. Uh, today we're taking a look at a notoriously bad game on the Sega Dreamcast. This is the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas. Um, <laughs> this is, that game was actually never released. Uh, it was leaked onto the internet uh, uh, after it was cancelled. Um, probably for good reason. But uh, apparently this game is pretty bad from what I've read about it. But I'm um, playing it for the first time here, so let's see how bad it really is. We'll select English here, select the VMU, start up a new game. Alright, so I get a few options uh, Boulder Ball Challenge, Single Race, Time Trial, Multiplayer, and Practice. Well, let's start with the first one on the list it's Boulder Ball Challenge. Okay, so we can select a car here. This is Slag Hoople, Fred Flintstone, Roxy, Barney Rubble, Chip Rockefeller, Wilma Slag Hoople, and uh, Colonel, and Betty O'Shale. Alright, uh, let's go with Barney. It's got a different uh, tracks, I guess, yep. Yeah. Uh, Bedrock Bonanza, Carnival Chase, Swamp Slammin', Slag Hoople Challenge, and looks like the rest are all locked. I guess you have to unlock them. Let's go with the Carnival Chase, that sounds pretty good. So I guess this is a kart racing game. Um, uh, that's from what I've read about it, which definitely seems like it is. Alright, so let's start it up here. And right off the bat I could tell there aren't many sound effects. Well, a few tiny sound effects, a little hard to hear. And there's some music after all. Oh boy. This cart's a little hard to steer. Holy mac. <laughs> My car seems to be driving itself. Uh-huh. Yeah, the controls are pretty bad, that's for sure. I got some little collectibles on the road there. I don't know what they are. I just went through a checkpoint and I'm driving right off the road. Uh, apparently I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Where am I going here? The arrow is pointing this way, but yet I can't go that way. Uh, this way, I guess. Okay. <laughs> and I collect more of these things. See what the different buttons do. Uh, looks like the X button changes your view. Doesn't seem to be a whole big difference between each view. Some bowling pins in the middle of the road there. I guess that's a weapon, I assume. Alright, so the A button doesn't seem to do anything. The uh, L button does reverse. The B button. Uh, I. No. <laughs> uh, must be some type of boost, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what the collectibles are. They increase your, yep, that uh, boost meter in the bottom right. Okay. Uh, you don't seem to be able to use the boost until that meter is full, I guess. And I just got hit with something. I guess it slowed me down. And I'm kind of veering off the road here. <laughs> Okay, am I going to speed up? There we go. Oh, it looks like I kind of shrunk there too, it's kind of hard to tell, but... Holy mackerel, this game is really hard to control. Sometimes the car just steers itself practically. Oh, okay, that's the weapon pickup, I guess, those bowling pins. And you press the uh, A button to stop. Uh, Stop the meter there. Okay, that appears to be some type of shield. Use my boost. Get another weapon here. Uh, okay. Oh, this must be a different route, I think. Possibly a shortcut. Not like it's really going to help me here. I'm doing pretty bad. <laughs> 
the bowling ball appears to be some type of missile. Ah! Hitting the trees at that same spot. Ah! Come on. Shh! The car just kind of veered off there. I don't get that. Yeah, I'd have to agree with uh, the comments on this game. This is pretty bad. Mostly the controls. Uh, the controls that are just really wonky. Not easy to control the car. You have to be very careful or you uh, else you steal right, steer right off the road. And like I said, the car just kind of takes... <laughs> takes control of itself at certain points. I don't know if it's the physics they programmed into the road that's all messed up or what, but that is weird. <laughs> and the sound effects are <laughs> not very good, to say the least. Use my boost here. See, at that same spot every time, you veer right off the road. Well, eh, I came in second, that's not too bad. Okay. There we go. I've won a ruby. Ooh. Yay. Alright, let's try one of the other modes. Uh... What else we got? I'll load up that. Guess I have to load my game here. Single race, time trial, multiplayer practice. I guess it's all the same. I guess the Boulder Ball Challenge. I guess is basically just the uh, I don't know story mode. I guess you want to say, or the uh, yeah. So I guess I'll go single race. I guess. Try a different car. Yeah, let's try Chip Rockefeller. And try a different track here. This one looks interesting. Swamp Slammin'. Here we go. <laughs> See, I didn't even touch the controls there and I uh, just veered off the road. I can't even, you know, I can steer the car to go straight. Then all of a sudden it just veers off the road without me even touching the analog stick. <laughs> this is bad. This course is even worse than the other one. Uh, only a couple times during the other race I veered off. On this one it's doing it constantly, like right there. And right there. Yeah, I can hardly keep control of the car. And for some weird reason, I just kind of stopped there for a second. Yeah, you have to constantly uh, correct your uh, direction. Or else you'll just go right off the road.
And it's true this game probably could have been in very early stages of development, although, you know, a lot of it is, you know, they had the basic groundwork down. Um, not sure how close this game was to release, but uh, it might not have been a bad game had they, you know, actually worked out the bugs <laughs> and, uh, you know, polished it up. But as is, it's definitely terrible. If they had released it like this, obviously it would have <laughs> been an abs. Uh, would have just flunked. <laughs> I just kind of went over the uh, the air there, or the space between the tracks. Thought for sure I was gonna fall in. Let's do a boost here. I'll probably ram right into the wall, but. Uh, am I going the right way? I don't know if I'm even going the right way. It's not telling me I'm going the wrong way, but apparently I am. I kind of just stopped there. It must be an invisible barrier. I don't know why it wasn't telling me I was going the wrong way. Of course, I could look at the arrow, but... Yeah, I think I lost this one. Yeah, well, so that is uh, first look at the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas on the Sega Dreamcast. A pretty bad game. <laughs> uh, might be worth <laughs> uh, burning a copy if you just want a few laughs. Maybe play it with a few friends, but uh, that's about it. It's definitely pretty bad. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and if you like this video, check out my other videos. Thanks.